say it happened the night of July 11th, sometime after midnight. It's been a long life. Hell, it's been a long year. How many people you think are sick on the inside? The precinct got the tape. We know everything. Hey everyone, it's Christine Garmendiz here again, and I'm here with Juan from the team R&R Productions. Here he is. What's up? Hi, everybody. Yes, this is Juan, and we just finished watching the film, Home Fatal. Yes, and it was a, uh, what was the genre? Well, film noir. But I, <laughs> I'm Juan Ramirez Jr., um, director, writer. Um, I'm a screenwriter, uh, playwright, TV, poet, so on, so on, so on. And uh, my film's Home, uh, Home Fatal. It was a film noir. And um, yeah, it was fun. My, my producer and actress in it is Christy Reynoso, and the editor is uh, Angela Reynoso. Yes, that's cool. Awesome. Cool. So we're going to get right into the questions. Yeah. So we got four for you. Cool. So question one, uh, how much fun and how difficult was it to film with just only a, a couple people? Um, fun for sure, because I've never, I love film noir and I've never done a film noir. I've never even written a film noir. So that itself was fun. Taking all the props, seeing what I had at home and making a story, fun. The challenging part was I lost the footage Saturday night and we had to shoot it again. So I shot it twice. We can, we can all decide how fun that was. <laughs> oh my God, so you filmed the so, entire thing and lost all the footage. And I lost everything and then did it again, a rush version. Um, so that was, I, I'm, it's bittersweet, right? It's can bittersweet. I, so, uh, can I ask yeah. how did that happen? So I got a new computer because my other one before went. So I had it. We shot, dumped, right? Then I had the card. So when I went to open the program, I don't want to say the program makes it seem like I'm this in the program. I'm not. But when I just opened that program, I had an update. Didn't, when I came back to it, wasn't there. I said, okay, popped in the card. It was damaged. So the worst of two sides happened to me in like a matter of like five minutes. Oh so it was just wild. So we were like, I was mad. And wifey was just like, look, Christy, the Reynosa, the actress, is also my wife. She was just like, look, let's just go. Let's do it again. We know the story by heart. Go. And we just jumped on it. Four in the morning, finished. Man, that's crazy. I can relate to that because that's happened to me, too, with my SD cards. Uh, Lost yes. everything. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, you made it through. You yes. made the film. Yes. So. That's the lesson, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So next question. So was you did that actually answer this was it your first time making film noir and like were there any other challenges like in terms of like maybe even lighting you know it was weird because came, yeah. now, maybe weird's not the the answer or the right way to phrase it but with the lighting it was like what do i have i have i have this living room where the light comes in from one side perfect right i have a bathroom that has like this little this light in the shower perfect so i was just playing with what i had so i was fortunate in that sense that wasn't necessarily hard what was harder for me was like the sound stuff making sure the sound was a certain way right because even in that there's a tone and genre in that right so i think that was more actually playing with sound was more of the challenge i would say yeah 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 definitely i agree with you but like it, it sounded great. We all really enjoyed it. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> uh, we have another question. It was, it's really random, um, but yeah. one of us on the team were curious, like, where, where did the, where'd you get the gun? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so technically, no, 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 no. So I, it's actually a prop, right? It's actually a prop we've had. So I have a big theater background, been doing this for a long time. So I've had it for forever. And we used to, we did shows with it. And, um, so I'm sort of the guy who, there's not a title for this. So I'm, I'm part of a uh, rep company. Um, so I'm the guy who holds on to it. So long story short. So it's a prop gun. Um, so what I did is you can, you can actually manipulate it where it's supposed to have that orange thing and this and that, and you could actually play with it. 
Um, so I just used that one. I was like, oh, that looks the one that's the most, yeah. Yeah, so I, I got to keep it, you know, in the lockbox and the lockbox of the lockbox, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you for answering that. <laughs> no, it was, no it was a question that, was, that we were like, <laughs> what, like where did it come from? <laughs> um, okay, and the next question, what was it like conducting a team and just the whole process from pre to post? Like, what was that like during you know, during a pandemic and practicing COVID safety? Um, so there was three people. I was the actress, uh, Angela Villanoso, who was also the editor, was also sort of like my grip and all else. And I was director slash lighting slash, so it was only three of us. And the, and me and my wife live together, so that's not, right? And then th uh, her sister lives a block away. So I felt pretty safe about, and I knew where everybody had been. So there wasn't no idea of like, oh, where, where you been? Where have you been lately? Have you been wearing a mask? We didn't have to worry about that. The key was um, because we had to shoot it twice, right? It was, I shoot, you know what the next part is, get ready. And hey, here's the, here's the SD card dump, pass me the other one. It was the second time that was challenging that everyone really had a double time what we already spent the first time in playing. I, I think the first time we had more discovery was playing. We got to do this and that. The second time was Pooh can't go. And so both were, both were very great, really, you know, in, in their ways. So I, I think that was the big um, difference where everybody was like on call and <clears throat> ready to go the second time. Yeah. Yeah, cram time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, especially in like 40 hours. And now right. last question. Have you ever yeah. done 48 hour film challenge? No. Before? So this is my first one with you guys. It was very great. You guys have been great. Um, first one, I, this is my second short of the year. So I don't direct. I, I, I'm one of those that's like, I'm just a screenwriter. Let them go through that. But um, I said, you know what? I'm home. It's time. Let's dive in. So uh, as a matter of fact, Eddie has sent a post and um, I had applied for a film somewhere else and he sort of attached himself and said, hey, apply to us too. And I was like, you know what, let's try it. So I jumped in and yeah, it's first time, it's great. <laughs> wow, that's dope. I didn't know that was your first time. Yeah. Well, yeah. you fooled me. So that's, that's, yes. that's the beauty of it. Okay, good, perfect, perfect. <laughs> yeah, so thank you again, Juan. We're gonna thank sign you. off now. Everyone, please check out his film, show his team some love. And anything else you want to say before we sign off? Um, thank you very much. It's been great. Um, follow us on IG. That's what you got to do now, right? R, um, R underscore R Productions, um, at a one-man show, uh, at Emerald 0 0 at uh, Angela Reynoso underscore. Yes, follow us. We're going to keep doing stuff. And thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. And we loved your film. I'm pretty yeah. sure everyone else did as well. Yeah, thank you, thank yeah. you. <laughs> right. Thank you. Take care, bye. All right, take care.